One student who's mastered some very good habits is your senior class president, Jessica Munieli. Jessica is very active on a number of fronts. She played an integral role in our state champion tennis team. Um, she's a member of Good Time Company. She's a reporter for the West Side Story, and she's a pretty extraordinary student. What stands out to me, however, is Jessica's leadership. The last two years, she spearheaded some very definite changes at West High, changes that were not exactly popular, but they were necessary, as they were directed towards serving students who have historically been marginalized. These changes included the first gender-neutral homecoming court in the state of Iowa and course registration methodology that expanded upper-level course offerings to all students. Jessica's leadership furthers West tradition of excellence. I'm happy to introduce Jessica Munieli as your class of 2020 student speaker. Hello, friends, family, faculty, and the resilient class of 2020. My name is Jessica Munieli, and it is an incredible honor to be speaking to you today as your senior class president. I'll be honest with you, I was doubtful that this day would come. As I sat in my room drafting this speech in prime quarantine hours, I wondered, am I writing this for nothing? Will anyone even hear this? But though I cannot be physically with you today, that doesn't mean we cannot come together, even for a little while. In fact, I've seen firsthand that we are not only capable of coming together, but we are pretty good at it. You see, it would be easy for us to focus on all the things that COVID-19 has taken from our class. Prom, spring sports, a real graduation, and most importantly, our time to say goodbye. However, what I think is more significant is how, together, we refuse to stay defeated. While socially distancing, we have discovered even more ways to stay connected. I see unity all around us, faculty, took the time to put up yard signs in our lawns and stitched together a way video to make us smile. Our student journalists did not stop the presses and hand delivered their paper to readers' doorsteps. Friends sat on opposite sides of driveways just to talk without a screen for an hour. And although cringeworthy, Dr. Schultz even started a school-wide TikTok challenge. Clearly, being six feet apart has not stopped us from being a close community. Beyond the chaotic state of current events, it was surreal for me to imagine we'd be leaving the West High building that we have illegally parked beside for the past four years. Our building, like each of us, has gone through countless changes during our time here. Constant construction has brought us a new cafeteria, a new AP testing dungeon, even new floor to ceiling windows, yet surprisingly fewer ceilings. And I am proud to announce that very soon, our school will be 100% air conditioned. That is, after we have all left. But that's a whole other speech. We've come a long way since we were those hesitant freshmen, unsure which staircase led where and who to eat lunch with. Then, freshly equipped with our state-of-the-art Chromebooks, we became sophomores, no longer at the bottom of the food chain, but not quite upperclassmen. Junior year tested us time and time again, not just in coursework, but on how little sleep we could run on. And now, here we are as seniors in the year 2020, a year that I personally could not possibly fathom as 2008 Jessica rode her red razor scooter around and around the cul-de-sac. For the longest time, the second 20 in 2020 was just some number tacked onto our school email, symbolizing a distant moment far into the future. However, now it's our reality. But we did not arrive at this moment overnight at a school where excellence, say it with me, is a tradition. We worked our way to get here, from being state champions and national merit finalists to Hy-Vee All-Stars and Green and Gold Academy standouts. We have excelled in so many ways. Not long ago, I was posed the question, what is your favorite thing about West High? To which I responded, West is a place where people can discover their unique passions and forge their own paths. There is no one correct mold to find success at West because we are lucky enough to have so many different areas to explore. Apart from varying interests, West values diversity in belief, background, and perspective. This can be seen on a large scale in our MLK Day sessions to the daily conversations in the classroom. 
Whatever the outlet may be, West is a place that encourages open dialogue and is not afraid to push the envelope. It is in this supportive environment that we evolved into the young adults listening to this speech while sitting in our respective homes. However, no one, not one of us, reached here on our own. Our family, community members, and educators deserve to have their own individual time slot to walk across the stage just as much as we do, because without them, we would not be here. And for that, many thank yous are in order. Thank you to those whose work often goes unnoticed, to the janitorial, office, and cafeteria staff who maintained a welcoming environment every day with a smile. Thank you to the teachers that didn't treat us like just another name in Power School's attendance sheet. Thank you to those that asked us how our day was going and were genuinely interested in the answer. Thank you to everyone that helped us cling to any shred of normalcy in these unusual times, and to all the essential workers, like my parents, who continue to go to work each day for all of us. Seniors, I ask you all to take time today to thank those who left an impact on you during your time at West, because they are the reason we ended up in these caps and gowns. Reflecting on these last four years, a lot of big events have led us to these diplomas. Our class was the first to be cut in half and shipped off to Liberty High. A moment of silence for our lost brethren. We redesigned homecoming court to represent the diversity in our hallways. We organized marches, walkouts, and raised money for the causes dear to our hearts. We even braved through a polar vortex, causing us to have nine full snow days, an unprecedented amount of lost time. Oh, we were so naive back then. The little events also did their part to get us here, including speed walking as passing time was viciously slashed to four minutes, always diligently making good use of academic focus time. And my personal favorite, being yelled at for eating food in the library that was purchased at the coffee shop which is located in the library. But I'll let you unpack that last one for yourself. Though a quick peek at my Chromebook search history will show you just how many times I've Googled Iowa City West High School bell schedule, I truly am going to miss my time here at 2901 Melrose Avenue. And though it is fun to reflect on the memories, it's important to remember that this is not our peak. As unoriginal as it sounds, high school is merely our beginning. Though right now, it feels like the world is on pause. Eventually, it will resume. And when it does, whether you plan to stay in Iowa, travel across the country, join the armed forces, or enter the workforce, West will simply be your starting block to dive into the rest of the world. Now, I know that breaking routine is terrifying. I mean, what will you do when the middle of your day is no longer marked by the recording of Dr. Schultz saying, a lunch is now starting. I mean, how will you know when to eat? But fret not, young grasshoppers, because these changes are inevitable and should be embraced. In the next period of your life, not every moment is going to be exciting, but find joy in the ordinary and your life will have drastically more fulfillment. At the end of High School Musical 3, Troy Bolton in his commencement address says, high school is a place where the friends we make will be with us for the rest of our lives. And of course, this is simply not true for everyone. There are many classmates that you will never see again. People change and people grow, which is not only expected, but healthy. The truth is, I am not Troy Bolton, nor can I encapsulate everyone's experience at West. Even so, I do know that our time here was not marked by a number of awards, but defined by the relationships we made and the lives we touched. It's very easy to compare yourself to your peers, but really the only person you should be sizing yourself up to is you, each day actively choosing to push yourself to be a better version of your past self ensures constant growth and no peaking. After all, Hannah Montana did say it's the climb. They told me two Disney references in one speech couldn't be done, but here I am. I probably should have listened. As our time together draws to a close, I want to leave you with one final thought. Over the past few months, I've seen how we as a community are capable of coming together like a team. It's in the worst of times that human compassion and pure kindness shine brightest. It's times like this when not being able to have something 
makes us reassess what is really important in our lives. I hate to break it to you, my friends, but this pandemic, though a defining moment for our generation, is not the only uncertainty we will face in our lifetime. But it's up to us to find the unity in the uncertainty. Frankly, I don't know what next year holds, if life will return to normal, or if we will become full-time Zoom University students. Each day after today will bring a new obstacle to overcome and decisions we will have to make. However, armed with a positive attitude and a drive for mutual success, there is nothing that we cannot conquer. Because ultimately, we are all in this together. Congratulations, class of 2020. Our future is bright, and it can only get better from here. Thank you so much for your time.